Hey Ricky from Ricky's Reptiles and today I'm going to show you part two of two of my incubator and actually I'm doing two of two before one of two because it's already working and running and I'm not going to take the whole thing apart uh, to show you how it's made. So basically I'll give you the outside tour. Um, my incubator is a large styrofoam box and it's about two feet deep four feet high, eight feet wide. Uh, originally I tried putting these hinges on it and yeah, not so good. But what are you gonna do? So um, long story short, I just use these screws and as you can see, I've used a lot of screws already, but one of these foam pieces is only like $3, so it's really not that big a deal. Um, take these out. Uh, this particular one's being run by Herbstat. I know, I know, you're all surprised. Ricky's using a Herbstat. Uh, I use Herbstat for everything. I wouldn't use anything else so far anyway. They're the best, so uh, I'm gonna open the door. So long story short, this is my incubator. It holds 10 tubs. Um, and the, the way I have these organized is uh, the pairing on the top, when they were laid, uh, each, uh, you know what, I'll open one for you. Well, eh, I use this, uh, I'm not gonna open it, I changed my mind, I glad cling wrap, and it's the press and seal, so it keeps a really, really nice seal all the way around the tub. Uh, inside the tub is egg crate to keep the eggs uh, off the vermiculite, and then underneath is vermiculite, and I don't know if you can see or not, but there's actually water right on the bottom. So uh, I really, really fill it, and uh, it keeps it super nice and humid in there. I don't open it, I don't burp it, I don't, I leave it all alone completely. I put it in, and then uh, 60 days later, you start seeing little heads pop out, and uh, at that point, I do lift the corner just a little bit, just to let a little bit more air in. And uh, once they pip, or poke their way out of the head, their um, the egg, then I leave them for a couple days, and eventually out come babies. So these are a couple babies, they're actually all going into shed right now. So I'm not gonna really bug them, but uh, in this run batch here anyway, there's a butter pinstripe, which is this one over here. Butter bee, there's a butter, it's kind of moving away from us, and there's a butter spinner which was an awesome clutch before. And um, so those are guys who are kind of going into shed. And these ones, oh, well, there we go. One has already shed. So you can see the sheds on the bottom here. And they've shed. So here, like, for example, oh, how's that? Still shedding. Maybe he'll shed right out of our arms. So, still shedding, bad example. Here's the one that has already shed. Uh, really nice pinstripe. Cute little guy. They're really cute when they're little, because they're tiny. And what's not cute about a teeny little snake, so. Uh, I'm gonna leave them and let them do their thing. Probably not impressed with me. So anyway, uh, since this isn't about snakes, it's about the incubator. So what I have is my herbicide here. And what this is doing, <clears throat> is measuring the air temperature inside the incubator. Uh, originally I had another probe inside one of these tubs so I could make sure that it all worked out well. Uh, the air temperature in this incubator is 89, which makes it around 89 inside the tubs. So it works out well. There's two fans going 24 hours a day on the top. And although it's hard to see underneath there, uh, are two layers of 11 inch flex watt in between these grids. So there's one at the bottom, then there's uh, a layer, then there's this wood, and then another layer on top of it, nice airflow, and there's another fan down there blowing the air this way. So it's blowing the air over the flex watt, which then rises up and gets blown down again by these fans. So it keeps a nice circulation. So that is sort of how my incubator operates. And if you have any questions, which you may or may not have, then uh, write me a message. We'll get that sorted out. All right, make sure to subscribe. 
other videos and if you have any video ideas or questions post comment below and we'll get that sorted out for you all right cheers